approach. And I'll give you a demo of how to pick them up first, and then I'll let you guys see them go. So the first one is the Dark Horse Circular. Grab them a nice firm grip around the wings. Pop them next to you then. So that's so they can't flap their wings around and carry on. So There you go. So you see she's struggling but she can't get out. Um, and then I'm going to, so while they're in this position first, if I needed to worm her, I can open her feet, worm her, that sort of thing. Um, but the one thing that we learn how to do with chickens is flip them and that's so that we can assess them without them flapping and carrying on like she is. So you get a firm grip around their legs, push their, leg, their head back like that and then that's flipping. So now you can see she's quite easy to look at. <laughs> Doesn't hurt them. It's a bit like um, when you know when you're shearing sheep, they flip them on their back, and then the sheep are quite still and quite happy to be shorn. They can do it a lot quicker. If I was trying to look for lice and everything while she was on the ground, like Rocky is, you'd take so much more time to, to do it properly. Um, and if you think about chickens in a shed where you've got you know I don't know 500 chickens or something that aren't used to people contact, you want it to be as quick as possible the time that you spend with them. So the blood does run to their head a little bit, but it's not anything extreme. And then all I do is pop her up, and she's fine.